Hi Aquarius, welcome. It's Meredith. I am here with your monthly reading for December 2020. Uh, the focal point of your monthly message is all around the solar eclipse. It's happening on the 14th of December. Uh, in my time zone that's happening at 11.13 in the morning. And then three minutes later, we're moving into a new moon at 11.16. So we have an eclipse, a total solar eclipse, and a new moon happening in the sign of Sagittarius. Now I have done a uh, solar eclipse reading that's posted for you on, on the channel. It'll be linked for you too at the end of this video. I highly recommend that you watch both videos. They are meant to complement one another. Uh, certainly check out your moon rising and Venus signs as well if you're guided to. Uh, so what's happening? What's happening on the 14th is this solar eclipse. Eclipse energy can stay with us anywhere from 6 to 18 months, sometimes longer. Uh, new moons are new beginnings and fresh starts in a moon cycle. And then that happens inside of the eclipse. So all of that energy stays with us for at least 6 to 18 months, which is profound. So what we want to do is identify some potential theme or themes that are unfolding for you so you can return time and again to this reading if you like it may remain relevant for that period of time um, the other thing i want to mention is that with the the new moon in sagittarius it on this card it says here that luck or good fortune is on your side sometime during the day the moon phase is going to shift over to capricorn and the message on that card is all about how your hard work pays off for you. So it's reward of your prior effort. But this is all happening inside of the solar eclipse. So that puts a tremendous amount of energy into motion. And what I'm feeling intuitively myself is that what we hold in heart space, in excited anticipation for manifestation, gets channeled through the fire of Sagittarius. And then it takes root in the earth of Capricorn. Mm, fantastic, right? So this is about seeing actual tangible evidence blossom and grow from what we're holding in heart space. This is why identifying the theme in the cards or in the cosmos for you could be valuable at this time. So we are expecting a powerful change in this new moon and eclipse. And we're coming into what feels like a new cycle, a new beginning. And my feeling is that it's like the new year begins now. A new cycle begins now and what's in that for you so we are using the naked heart tarot for your message and your first card is the death card transformation for you Aquarius and I love that we have the moon cycle on this card as well up here along the top isn't that great uh, so the death card you know it's a purification within transformation. This is an upgrade in your personal spiritual frequency. And this is identifying for you what serves you best and what no longer serves your highest and greatest purpose. And by recognizing all of this, you're able to keep on your foundation, what motivates you, moves you, what's in the momentum and flow of your life, and you can eliminate what isn't so that you don't have any superfluous energy pulling you back, dragging you down in any way. What comes with the death card but the three of swords <laughs> you know i have to say that when either of these cards get pulled in a in a reading most people are cringing and gasping and you know they have a reputation for being tough cards or fearful cards even but the message of the three of swords is pain loss and sorrow of the past it's being resolved it's these swords coming out of the heart space we've gotten to the heart of the matter we have picked over the bones of the past about as much as we can and gleaned as much as we can from the experiences connected to pain loss and sorrow and we're liberating ourselves from this and isn't it perfect then to have the death card right next to that the purification of transformation of pain loss and sorrow this is you letting all that go this is you deciding, uh, I no longer need to carry this with me any longer, anymore, you know, and setting yourself free from it. And where does that energy go? <laughs> right into the Ten of Cups. <laughs> wow. 
why wouldn't we do that kind of spiritual journey work? That's an amazing alignment of cards right there. You know, you know if you've been listening to daily readings on this channel that the Ten of Cups is considered just as happy as the Four of Wands and the Sun. That's the Ace of Cups to the power of Ten overflowing. Now the Ace of Cups is a divine and cosmic gift of pure, raw, loving bliss and happiness overflowing into your world. Hmm, that's what the universe is delivering you to the power of 10 now. So that's what happens when you engage the purification aspect of the death card and you transform your energy to no longer accommodate the pain, loss, and sorrow of the Three of Swords. Was it valuable? Yes, there are no mistakes. And, you know, did it teach you something? Absolutely. Did it bring self-mastery into your world? Yes, indeed it did. And at the time, while you were in the midst of it, you know, obviously you'd rather not be going through it. You'd rather not be feeling it. Nobody wants the Three of Swords. Though the spiritual life lesson, the journey through, creates a tremendous amount of contrast for us to draw upon as we make choice and decision going forward. You know, how do we embrace love fully? Uh, how do we benefit from our own unconditional love. And unless you have a contrasting life experience, how can you make a choice around that? And what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius, is that your, your Three of Swords and the transformation as a result of the Three of Swords has created the Ten of Cups for you. You know, and the Ten itself is a satisfaction and a fulfillment card. All Tens and Tarot's are they speak to reaching a pinnacle moment within the self and then turning the page and going on to the next leg of the adventure. So that's what you're up to. And that's, that's what's being stirred within this solar eclipse and this new moon energy. And you're moving forward with the 10 of cups in hand. How fantastic is that? <laughs> so congratulations to you Aquarius, because that is some serious spiritual journey work right there. That's something for you to be divinely proud of within your own self. This is, this is what it takes to choose happiness. It does require integration, transformation, purification of the spirit. And you can have gratitude for the challenging moments that came your way to give you the contrast so that you could leverage the spiritual energy in a direction that is way, way more happy and fulfilling for you. Now, your next card is an oracle card from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And as I shuffled out the deck, I simply asked, what is the gift in the eclipse for Aquarius? And you have into me, I see. <laughs> so this is a deepening intimacy within self-relationship. It's number eight in this deck. All eights are, for me, momentum and movement change and deliberate, you know, we're moving in a new direction. So you're moving in the direction of a deeper sense of self intimacy. And as a result of that, you have much more of your intimate self to share in all aspects of your life. What a blessing and a gift. And take a look at the imagery on this card. Doesn't that look a bit like an eclipse in the background? <laughs> Spread your angel wings, let, let yourself fly Aquarius. Beautiful, what a lovely message for you. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Please do like, share, subscribe here on the channel. Most definitely watch the Solar Eclipse reading because it is meant to complement this one. And have a beautiful December. Peace, love, joy, happiness. Namaste.